Arrowhead Stadium's bright lights were buzzing with the excitement of a Chiefs win. Travis Kelsey waved to the crowd below while Taylor Swift sat next to him in their private box and smiled. Everyone was talking about their quick romance, it was like a love story from a fairy tale between a pop star and a football star. Back at Travis's room, the happiness from the game was still there. As they celebrated their team's win with champagne flutes, laughter could be heard throughout the large flat. Travis leaned in, his eyes sparkling with a hint of fun. It was a warm moment. You know, Tay, he said with a grin, you're not like the other girls I've dated. Tay's heart beat faster. Was this the time when he would finally say those three words? To get ready, she held her breath. They were never into football, Travis said next, using a funny tone in his voice. It's refreshing to be with someone who actually understands the game. There was a strange silence in the air. Taylor blinked. The bubbles in her champagne glass were no longer interesting to her. Was that a joke? She looked at his face for a hint of sarcasm but couldn't find any. Finally, she was able to say, wait, what? Are you saying you dated a bunch of girls who didn't care about football? Travis laughed, but he didn't notice that Taylor's face was getting more and more shocked. Yeah, sure. Some of them were only interested because they liked the idea of dating a football player. Taylor's mouth dropped open. Perks, she asked again, her tone showing a mix of shock and laughter. Are you serious? Travis just shrugged, as if he didn't know what was going on inside his girlfriend. What do I say? I'm a catch, he joked with a chubby grin. Taylor went from being shocked at first to being very angry very quickly. Taylor Swift, the singer-songwriter who has won multiple Grammys, was being compared to a group of women who dated men for his perks. The idea was ridiculous in and of itself. Travis Kelsey, she said with fake anger in her voice, I didn't learn the difference between a blitz and a sack for your perks. Travis laughed so hard that his loud voice filled the room. He grabbed Taylor and held her close, his eyes shining with love. He laughed and said, I know, honey. Just joking around with you. Whether you like football or not, you're the best girlfriend a guy could ask for. With a smile on her face, Taylor rolled her eyes. She leaned into his hug and enjoyed the sound of his laughing. It's possible that their love story wasn't taken from a fairy tale after all. There were a lot of messy, real, and unexpected times like this one that showed how close they were. The bright lights of Arrowhead Stadium could be seen far away as they clinked their glasses again. Taylor knew for sure that their relationship was not a perk. It was an easy score. The Kansas City Chiefs had just won an exciting game, and the locker room was full of happy people celebrating. As people cheered and laughed, Taylor Swift stood there with her arm around star tight end Travis Kelsey. They were the new, it, couple, and everyone was crazy about their quick romance. Another amazing game, Trav. Taylor yelled, her eyes shining with respect. Couldn't have done it without my number one fan in the stands, Travis told her, kissing her on the cheek. There was a lot of noise in the changing room, and a reporter caught the couple as they were walking through it. Travis and Taylor, good job on your win. Taylor, we've all seen how much you care about Travis. How does it feel to date a Super Bowl winner? It's pretty amazing, Taylor said with a laugh. I'm so proud of Trav because he is so bright and works so hard. And Travis, what about you? The reporter asked. What's going on with Taylor? She looks pretty unique. Travis smiled and said, oh, she's definitely special. His eyes sparkled with fun. I've always liked strong, independent women, though. The people I've dated in the past were all pretty amazing on their own. Taylor's smile broke, and her eyebrows raised in surprise. Did he just say that she reminded him of his ex-girlfriends? In a chat in the locker room? When the writer felt the tension, he or she asked, really? Travis, tell us more about these cool ex-girlfriends. Travis started talking about one of his ex-girlfriends who was a very good swimmer with a long list of accomplishments. He didn't notice that Taylor was getting more and more uncomfortable. As Taylor listened to Travis talk about his ex's sports achievements, her mind was racing. Was his goal to make her feel unsafe? Could he not get over the people he used to date? 
Travis kept waxing romantic about his ex-girlfriends, and Taylor couldn't hold back her shocked face any longer. She slowly pulled her arm away from his and took a step back, forcing a smile on her face. Well, it sounds like you've dated some pretty cool women, Travis, she said with a sarcastic tone. I know they're all thrilled about your Super Bowl win. Excuse me, I need to take care of some things. After saying that, Taylor turned on her heel and walked out of the locker room, leaving Travis and the interviewer speechless. The news the next morning screamed, Taylor Swift storms out of interview after comments made by Travis Kelsey's ex-girlfriends. The event quickly went global, leading to a lot of talk and speculation. Taylor, on the other hand, didn't say anything because she wanted to talk about it quietly with Travis. Travis, on the other hand, had to deal with the impact from his mistake in the locker room. He learned that even the nicest words can have effects that were not meant. It was very close, but the Kansas City Chiefs won in the end, and the locker room was buzzing with excitement. Taylor Swift got through the happy chaos while beaming with pride over her boyfriend, Travis Kelsey. She found him among all the other players. His big smile stood out against all the other faces. As they hugged, the world seemed to fade away, and the warmth of their happiness took its place. When they got back to their flat, it was calmer and cozier. As they curled up on the couch, the thrill of winning was still in the air. Travis, who was always up for a game, nudged Taylor with a sly grin on his face. You know, he started in a low, playful voice, I've been thinking about all my ex-girlfriends and I've realized something. Taylor raised an eyebrow in surprise, and there was a bit of humor in her eyes. Really? What could that be? Travis leaned in, and he seemed to be up to no good. They were all just practice for the real thing. Taylor blinked, shocked for a moment. She thought it would be a joke or a fun jab, but this, this was not what she expected. She felt a warmth in her chest that was a mix of surprise and deep, quiet joy. Practice, she asked again, this time with a soft smile. Yeah, Travis said, his voice a soft rumble. They were all warm-ups and sneak peeks. But you, Tay, you're the big game, the championship, the whole thing. Taylor felt a love that was so strong that it almost made her heart burst. She leaned in close to Travis and ran her fingers along his face. And you, she whispered, her voice very emotional, you're my MVP, my Hall of Famer, my forever. They kissed to seal their deal. The kiss spoke of love, success, and a future that would be brighter than any beam of light. Taylor knew for sure at that very moment that she had found her true love. What about Travis's past relationships? They were just parts of the story that led him to her. Fans of the Kansas City Chiefs were very excited about both the upcoming game and the new relationship that was starting to form between their star tight end, Travis Kelsey, and star singer Taylor Swift. It was like a match made in media heaven. There were a lot of stadium dates, secret kisses caught on camera, and a love song that seemed to be written overnight. The team was relaxing one afternoon after practice, and the talk turned to relationships. The guys were making fun of Travis by asking the guy who had snagged Taylor Swift for relationship tips. Travis leaned back and added with a smile, guys, the secret is easy. I don't think about the past too much. The first date is always a blank slate and a new journey. Travis didn't know that Taylor had just walked into the locker room to surprise him with his favorite drink after a workout. When she heard what he said, her smile stopped. A new start? A new adventure? What about the songs she wrote from the heart and the memories they brought back? Didn't he value those times they spent together? Then she didn't talk to him about it. She instead quietly walked away, forgetting about the drink. As Travis held her close that night, she couldn't help but feel something was wrong. Did he really know how she felt, how her past loves had affected her art, and how deep her feelings went? She got lost in her thoughts over the next few days. She wrote a new song about how she felt. It has a bittersweet melody full of desire and questions. When the song was over, she played it for Travis while her heart was racing. As the last note ended, Travis looked at her with a surprise and a softness in his eyes. Taylor, he said, his voice husky with emotion, I never meant to make fun of anything from our past. I love every moment we've spent together. But love for me means looking ahead, not back. 
we should focus on making plans for the future instead of